Agriculture is one of the key industries in land-based engineering and is primarily responsible for the production of food. These processes are now extremely mechanised and such machines costing in excess of £200,000 need designing, building, developing and maintaining. Modern agricultural machinery requires many engineers of various different qualifications and skill levels. From a technician that maintains the equipment to a manager that organises and coordinates people. Let's hear from somebody who works within the industry. Hello, my name is Neil Mesa and I'm the training manager for John Deere Limited and we cover the UK and Ireland. What do you most enjoy about working in the industry and the highlight of your career? The highlight throughout my career really is, is, is achieving my job of John Deere. Um, I don't dislike anything, anything within the industry, but I came from a, a technical background, this is where I started off as a technician, so probably my main interest in the engineering is the engineering side of things and the machinery. What inspired you to advance and work your way up within the industry and how did you do this? I spent seven years working at a John Deere dealership and at that stage I found that I couldn't really go any further within my career and at that point um, I decided to return back to university and complete my degree. Um, so my main inspiration was because I couldn't get any further in the, within the dealership, I wanted to get further and I needed to improve my academic qualifications. So Neil, what skills have you gained during your career? I've gained various skills over the career, I think, ranging from when I was a technician, so certainly the mechanical side of the skills and knowing how, how machines work, then moving on to a more design-based um, skill set, and now recently it's been more of a training, so a training, teaching, and then moving into a managerial skills. Thank you, Neil, for answering our questions. And now, time for a pop quiz. What speed do you think the fastest tractor in the world can travel? 350 miles per hour, 100 miles per hour, or 20 miles per hour? That's right, 350 miles per hour. This was achieved by the JCB Diesel Max. In 2006, JCB broke the diesel-powered land speed record. The Diesel Max car that they used to break the record was powered by two of their newly developed engines that they use in many of their machines. Engineers from all parts of the company were selected for their expertise to help with the project. Forestry is another area of land-based engineering that involves the harvesting and processing of raw materials using a range of high-tech equipment. The machinery is capable of felling, stripping, and cutting the trees into designated lengths in a matter of seconds. Other equipment allows quick loading and transporting of the logs from the rough terrain of the forest to the wood yard. This reduces the labour requirements and improves production efficiencies. The demand for high-tech equipment continues as the timber is processed into its usable form. The final product is then utilised in other secondary industries, such as construction. Construction is another industry that comes under the land-based engineering umbrella. Construction equipment is often very versatile and a range of tasks can be achieved using one machine. For example, the backhoe loader can be used for shoveling, excavating, moving palletized loads, lifting and landscaping. From mining through to the building site construction equipment, its rugged design and its efficient maintenance is vital for the success of the companies within this sector.
Ground care is the sector of land-based engineering concerned with the maintenance of recreational areas, including parklands and sporting grounds. The machinery used in this sector, although more compact, is just as advanced using the latest technology for precision maintenance. For example, a golf course. The compact machines are extremely versatile and are expected to be able to spray, mow, spread, chop, roll, aerate and perform many other ground care tasks. The environment sector is a fast developing area of land-based engineering. The sector includes industries such as renewable energy and waste management. With the imminent effects of global warming and the depleting sources of oil, there is an increasing demand for renewable energies, and with it comes the use of new and advanced technologies which allow new ways of extracting energy from renewable sources. With the increasing amount of waste that our growing population generates, the need to reduce, reuse and recycle is becoming greater. This demand in recycling has created a demand for specially adapted machines that are required for the management of waste. Do you ever wonder where your food comes from? For example, a loaf of bread. Well, it all starts in the field by growing a crop of wheat. This is then cut by a combine harvester, which separates the useful grains from the rest of the crop. Then the grain is offloaded and taken to the grain store. The wheat is then milled into flour and mixed with other ingredients to produce dough. The dough is then separated into equal portions and placed into mould and baked. Once cooled, it is then sliced and packaged ready for delivery to the supermarkets. And now, time for another pop quiz. How long does it take a combine harvester to cut enough wheat to produce a hundred loaves of bread? Two and a half seconds, two and a half hours, or 25 minutes? That's right, two and a half seconds. Let's hear about the industry from some students' point of view. Hi, I'm Lizzie. Hi, I'm Jen. And we're engineers. I was initially attracted to engineering because I'm a practical person and thought it was the right path to take. So Jen, what is a typical day for you as an engineering student? In the morning we have lectures and then in the afternoon we go into the workshop and go on the offer course and work with vehicles. What's been the most exciting project you have worked on during the course so far? The most exciting project I've worked on to date is designing and building a human powered off-road vehicle that had to go around an off-road track. What other aspects of university life do you enjoy? I enjoy the group work, playing sports, meeting new people from different places and having a great time. Jen, what if any other career options did you consider? I looked into other courses, but I thought it would be much more interesting to go into a land-based sector where I could work outdoors. Lizzie, what would be your perfect job? My perfect job would be the one that allows me to travel around the world and work on interesting projects. Thank you very much for talking to us. Now let's have a closer look at how they do it in industry. 
Any machine that is produced in the land-based engineering sector is firstly proposed by the marketing department who convey what the customer wants in the design. The machine is then designed using computer software. The parts of the design are then fabricated and painted. All the parts are then assembled on the production line. The product is then packed and loaded ready for dispatch. The product is then ready to be used by the customer. The land-based sector provides a vast range of exciting engineering opportunities. These include design, manufacture, testing and development, marketing, technical sales, product support and service. For further information on how you could become involved in the exciting world of land-based engineering, visit the AEA online.